the Salta province, a unique spot where people were growing wine for over 100 years. The Colombe where we today is the oldest winery in Argentina. The concept of Hess Family Estates is to grow the signature grape in its signature country. When Donald Hess started his first wine project in 1978 in the Napa Valley, he started growing Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon very successfully. Later on, estates in South Africa and Australia followed. In 1998, he visited Argentina, where he realized quickly that the history in Mendoza is very successful and therefore was looking for other spots in the country. He traveled up north to the Salta province. Mr. and Mrs. Hess fell in love with this place right away. They connected with the energy of the soil and realized that this is the place where the newest baby should born. And that was the beginning of Colome. Standing at over 10,200 feet above sea level, not only is Colomé the oldest working winery in Argentina, but it also hosts nothing less than the highest vineyard in the world. Set against the desert-like scrub of Argentina's northwest, today the bodega is an iconic landmark as adobe-style buildings intermingle with an exclusive hotel. But when Colomé became the latest ingredient in the Hess Family Estates Global Vineyard Collective, it was also designed to enter one of the most promising viticulture niches. While Argentina's remote indigenous region would seem like an unlikely place for budding produce, the province of Salta is fast becoming an oasis for highbrow wines. The Wines and Altitude trademark is now a serious badge of honour on the international wine circuit, and the wineries dotting the region are home to some of Argentina's most state-of-the-art vineyards. A native of the French wine heartland of Burgundy, Colomé's head oenologist is quick to list the uniquely productive qualities of his adopted home. Je suis Thibaut Delmotte, le l'oenologue de Bodega Colomé. Justement, cette caractéristique d'avoir les vignobles les plus hauts du monde a une grande influence sur euh, sur la qualité des raisins. Cette euh, cette haute altitude nous permet d'avoir des une amplitude thermique très, très élevée entre jour et nuit, ce qui nous permet d'avoir des fruits bien mûrs, mais surtout qui restent très frais et très fruités. Donc ça, ça se répercute dans le vin, des vins très très fruités et qui restent frais. Et une autre caractéristique de l'altitude, c'est qu'on a beaucoup plus d'ultraviolets. Donc la peau réagit à ces ultraviolets, elle est beaucoup plus épaisse et beaucoup plus sombre. Donc nous avons des vins très, très puissants et en même temps euh, très fins, très élégants. Et c'est pour ça aussi que nous travaillons d'une façon très proche de la nature, de façon biodynamique, pour respecter ces caractéristiques, pour respecter le, le terroir de, de, de nos sols. Il y a quienes disent que le vin de Cafayate, de los Valles Calchaquí et de Salta en général, est uno de los vinos más ricos del mundo. Pero nosotros siempre decimos que la mejor forma de degustarlo es rodeado justamente del paisaje de los Valles Calchaquíes. Nosotros lo que hemos hecho este, desde el turismo es desarrollar los vinos de altura con la marca Salta. La ruta del vino son 23 bodegas este, que no solo tienen la bodega, sino que también tienen el hotel boutique, tienen el paisaje, que realmente es una combinación eh, es, eh, impresionante. Ustedes podrán ver montañas multicolores, podrán ver desiertos, podrán ver eh, salares. Eh, es realmente un viaje que vale la pena hacer. Often described as one of the world's most amazing rail journeys, the aptly named Train to the Clouds is another unmissable among Salta's tourism offerings. It's one of the highest trains in the world, bringing tourists almost 14,000 feet up into the Andes. Y es uno de los trenes, este, bueno, que a uno los transforma no solo por el paisaje, sino también por la cultura que va viendo a lo largo del camino. Lo que nos enorgullece es cómo ha logrado el propio salteño dar un servicio de alta calidad 
manteniendo nuestra idiosincrasia, manteniendo nuestra identidad, nuestra cultura, eh, pero al mismo tiempo abriéndonos a la, a la modernidad. The holistic benefits of the region's produce has also made the grape an essential ingredient in patios de cavajate. Nestled in the heart of the Calchiqui Valley, phenotherapy is the speciality of the hotel's wine spa. And again, when it comes to the region's highlights, steeped in the clouds, Bodega Colomé is the eye-catching example. The most remote of the region's vineyards has its very own museum dedicated to the works of James Thurl, one of America's most renowned contemporary artists. As Mile High meets viticulture, meets epic tourism, the region's slogan seems undeniable. Salta, closer to heaven than earth. Nunca pensé que podíamos ver los viñedos que estamos viendo y no hemos sentido la energía que sentimos hoy. Aquí hay una sabiduría espectacular y especial de la gente del lugar y sobre todo reúne una energía especial efectivamente por las piedras, la montaña, el clima y el cielo sobre todo que está tan cerquito nuestra, nuestro es maravilloso.